so this is either going to fire up or burn it didn't burn this is the ice scooter ix4 i think it is um, and i do really like it as a very lightweight and very easy to transport piece of kit it's got folding handlebars i've modified all the cabling and it's all custom sort of rooted for me now when you're riding these things i think i mentioned it in the video because all the weight is there on that piece you're actually sitting directly above the pivot point of the back suspension and when you go on over bumps the back suspension takes all the shock and you don't feel anything on that on that side of it so when you where you're sitting you feel nothing because there's no weight on the front end you feel all the shock through the handlebars and and, and it does make your voice tremble so that side's fine that side's got a problem which I am going to sort out I've got some of the air shock springs coming so I can make that even better I really don't know how you can but you know I'll make it even better I'm not planning on doing any carbon fiber work on this one but I might I might just get tempted I don't know yet on the underside obviously you've got the belly pan that covers the battery and everything else which I'm going to take apart in a minute I've got some rounded screws so because I don't know why they put bloody square edge screws on these or bolts uh, as soon as you go over something it, it snags and it, and it knackers them up so these will just slide off if you can see them focus you fo now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of this as a test bed for that this is a working battery monitor it's not a battery management at the minute um, it does 10s batteries um, obviously I'm going to have to fit something bigger in this which I've already designed the 20s the screens themselves are going to be remo removable this is literally just a test bed that I can actually um, monitor everything and see that it's working all right and it was built for the super, super capacitor bank so at the moment it only does 10s but it will be basically unlimited uh, with a 500 amp current I want that to work with that and if I can get it to work with that I can control absolutely everything about the electronics one of the things that that no one's ever done on on scooters that have been modified with a BMS or a controller or, or, or anything I don't go fast anymore to be honest but the acceleration up to about 20 miles an hour I love I just love the pull I love the feeling the torque uh, one of the main bugbears that I've got is when you open the throttle you've got a chance of the front end coming up now I want a launch control feature a feature which is built into the BMS and the controller at once so I'm going to do it with that that's going to be my controller this is going to be my BMS when it's finished there is going to be a lot of fettling that I'm going to have to do but I can get these two to work in harmony so the display will be a separate unit with uh, control buttons on it I've got multi-directional control buttons on it so you can scroll through menus and set everything everything you want on this thing I'm making all the things out of a BMS and a controller that everyone ever needed or I ever needed anyway so this is my test bed as of now I've got to take it apart and I've got to take the controller out and I've got to fit that uh, get that working for starters just to see exactly what it will do because I can't believe that something that big can deliver that amount of current the only thing I've got to go out on is the other one but hey ho <laughs> it's the same weight to be honest you can wire a throttle to it you can do regen braking you can do everything that you wanted to do ever but it's going to be a lot easier. I've got all these these inputs and they're all also outputs and I can control everything from that. Absolutely everything. I can't think of anything that it can't do apart from make my toast. Can't do that, it's useless isn't it?
We're at a point now where uh, something could smoke. That's nice and free. I've got the controller here. Nothing's getting hot. I've got the phase wires plugged in. I've done some configuration. Uh, and now I'm going to do a calibration. And I just hope and pray <laughs> this works because it could smoke everything. I'm still waiting for orders for these. Uh, I've not had much. <laughs> I've had one person. This one's very dirty because I've used it. If you want one of these, drop a, a note below, and then I'll see if if enough people want them. I'll start bloody selling them. Anyway, um, I've had a. This is my package. It's not a box. Well, it might be a box. If it is, it's my box, not your box, it's my box. I've been waiting for this because it might be the answer to the solution. What? It might be the answer to my problem. Uh, I'll take this out of this packaging. It's a box! It's my box, not your box, it's my box. I do apologise, Secure. Uh, I have tried and tried and tried everything to get this to work and I can't get it working properly. I've got it partly working, but there's a lot of things that just don't work and I'm not even going to go into detail because I can't explain it myself. Anyway. I ordered this because people said, why don't you use blah? So, and I said, ah, I've looked at all the documents and everything else, and it doesn't have what I need it to have, but I found a way to get around what I need to do, and now this will work. This is all to do with the BMS. This is the latest iteration of the BMS, which is working absolutely bloody perfectly. Um, I've still got to put the uh, active balancing on there and then I'll get another board made but this one is now working perfectly when the final version comes out that's the size of it that's all you'll need uh, this is a 20s version I don't know whether to do a 32 but I, I can do it and then this piece here uh, is going on a separate control board connected by wire I'm not going to do wireless I don't see a point in it because you can then take the unit off, unplug it. it obviously it will be on the end of a wire so it will be on your handlebars but I don't see the need of actually doing a wireless version I don't want to because I don't want to, okay yeah, we're going to make me if I don't want to do it that's working perfectly now so this is going to go with that so this is a flip sky uh, 72, 75, 100. So in, in the package you get the full descriptions which tells you all the inputs and outputs. Now this has actually got CAN bus on it which is one thing that I might need. It's also got UART outputs, uh, number 5, so that's your UART which is the one that I'm going to be using and we've also got PPM which is something else I need but it doesn't use the correct protocols on some things but I might be able to get around it to connect to the BMS now the BMS obviously is going to control the power of this so as you've got launch control, anti-wheelie, you've got absolutely everything that you need so 
uh, you get a USB lead with it, which is USB B. Come on, get with it. It has to support duplex, but basically answering what the problem I've got is the duplex part of it. Um, this doesn't fully support it. It doesn't support what I need. And why is there just a random? Oh, a hole. What's that for? Can't get the f thing in there. So what I'm going to do. First off, I'm going to plug it in to make sure it works, and then I'm going to avoid the warranty, as China always says, if you take something apart, uh, you avoid the warranty. So I'm going to take it apart and have a look. I mean, that's not waterproof. Look at the bloody big gap in there.